Ladies and gentlemen, what is up? It has been a while. Welcome to another episode of 8 Bits. I'm DJ Wheat, joined as always by Immy JP and Greenspeak. That son of a bitch. He's not here, but that's okay. He'll, he'll be returning. Don't worry. It's, you know, it's been busy and I have my own excuses, but got to spend almost three weeks, uh, three weeks. It's been a while, JP. What's up? Has it? It's only been three weeks. Has it been maybe a month? I don't know. When did Destiny come out? I'm trying to... Hold on. Let's I, see. I actually... I don't know. Because we... <clears throat> actually, when did Arcage Beta start? Let's do that. Let's do that. It's... Huh? I want to say like the 13th or something, or the 17th or the 16th. Because we did that show on uh, yeah, on a Friday that Arcage started. It had to have been the 12th. Yeah, so we haven't done a show since the 12th, so it's been this almost five weeks. Almost five weeks. Great. <laughs> I think. Yeah. Way to it's go been math. a while. Way to go, math. What? It, yeah, it has. I don't even know where to. I don't even know where to begin today. We, we other than we've we've been gone for a while. Um, I've been on many a trip. I've I I want to I want to begin with you know the non video game stuff. JP. You know, I, I'm, I'm a vapor. I like to, you know, I like to use my e-cig. And I found out this week that the place where I order my juice from no longer carries red licorice. And, uh -huh. like, I've been loyal to these guys for a really, really long time. And I was crushed, devastated. JP, I, I you know, I went to Twitter. I'm like, I need to find new place to get red licorice i need i uh, you know I'm, I'm freaking out here a little bit and mount baker vapor actually contacts me and was like hey you know you've been you've been you've always been loyal to us uh we we appreciate your education and and and, and what you've done and and uh, the, your support of us um so send me your pgvg your nick level um, your, your flavor shots is like how intense the, the flavor is. And he goes, I'll send you a gallon. Wow. So in the mail, like by comparison, JP, a gallon is, I believe 128 ounces. That's a milk jug. Yeah. This is, you know, this is 17. So, uh, what about seven or eight are these? And I'm going to be in red licorice heaven. Nice. So Mount Baker vapor, man. Nice. It's Apparently, nice. I'm echoing on the stream. What? Yeah, is that on your oh, end or my yeah. end? Oh shit! Yeah, what? No, you aren't. Okay, anymore. we're good. You you aren't anymore. There's no way. Okay, cool. It was in people's heads, man. <laughs> it was. A oh, by the way, we learned today. We found something out today about Twitch and. and <laughs> oh yeah. So yeah. You, you can't broadcast at 240 FPS yet, guys. Sorry, it doesn't work. You can't do it. I don't know. It's uh, also we we also learned something else. What's that? Even DJ Wheat can't take a five week break and have everything run smoothly. Like what the hell? I was like, what in the hell? I didn't. I came home and I like see an exploit update and I'm like, what? Where? How that? Where'd that come from? And then I'm yeah. like, okay, well everything looks okay, uh, settings and everything. It wasn't until the second time it messed up and I looked at the the frames per second and it said 240 under custom and i guarantee you i was never broadcasting at 240 fps or tried i've never even recently. seen anything at 240 fps before i don't I know don't, i don't know man so. that's like the fps of real life man <laughs> you're just trying to stream at the fps of real life uh <clears throat> all the fall shows started we're in like uh Week three of all the full shows, actually. Have you had a chance to watch anything? Are you going to ask me if I watch Flash? Uh, yeah, I mean, Flash is a good show. I'm enjoying it. Oh, Jesus. I don't... I'm getting used to my cats again, too. Um, for being gone for so long. So, I haven't watched Flash because Arrow just came out on Netflix, season two. And uh, I hadn't watched season two. Okay. Yeah, you should definitely catch up because, like, not on a week to week basis, but there's definitely like a major callback throughout the uh, throughout the the first show of both. So, but yeah, Flash is actually better than Arrow. 
Really? Yeah. Does that have more special effects and stuff? Uh, well, it's it's like you know, Green Arrow is kind of like he doesn't really. Ha- I mean, he he doesn't have like superpower. He's just kind of like no. He's got he's just the super badass. Yeah, he's just like a badass guy. Yeah. Like Flash actually does right, and everyone else in the show has superpowers as well. So it's pretty good. I think it's a lot better. I think Flash is uh, much better than Arrow at the moment, but. I don't know. Maybe I just got tired of of watching Arrow and Flash is new. I'm not too sure. It's probably a little of both. Something Maybe. Because didn't everyone really... And I know that Flash is in or has some relevance in season two, I believe. Yeah, and a little people bit. People fanboyed out about that when that happened, so... Yeah. I know the hype was real, man. It was. Yeah. It was. Um, Walking what else? Dead? I mean... I didn't watch it. I heard the first episode of this season was fucking crazy. I I don't know what happened, but I haven't. Wa- Are you not caught up at all? I haven't watched it since uh, the end of the governor season. Ah, uh, that's too bad. It's good. Yeah, I don't. I can't. I don't know. I just lost it. I lost interest in that show like so randomly. It just completely fell off, and I just don't. I couldn't care. <laughs> You know, I, I mean, JP and I, obviously I won't give spoilers, but what I I will say is that as, I mean, I'm diehard, so I'm going to watch it if it sucks and, and fucking, it turns out to be aliens and exactly. Yes. (laughs) So I'm going to, I'm, I'm, I'm in as far as that's concerned, but I do have to say that when I look at season one, season two, season three, and then sort of what they did from the comic book to the show um, and, 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 and you know how, what they're doing now in season four and five, there's no doubt about it that they experimented a little bit with the uh, with go straying away from the comic, you know, going away from uh, the book completely and doing their own thing and having different characters do different things. But in four and five, they have, even themselves said we're going back to the source like really we're we're staying closer to the source because we realize like that's what makes it good like they they even said that they had one episode last season that was like a panel for panel uh episode and it was the one with like rick and and uh his son like recovering in a house and uh they they had some tried and true uh, at least Things that are more specific to uh, the comic this this time around, and it looks like they're going that way. So I'm I'm pretty excited. I I, I like that. I like that. Okay. I thought the governor show was shit. The governor on the yeah. show was fucking shit. Yeah. The fucking comic book governor. If they were in a fight, JP, it wouldn't even be a contest, man. Oh yeah. TV yeah, yeah. show governor would just nah. No. Yep. He, I agree. He'd be fucked. I agree. Uh, Gotham. Are you watching Gotham? I have not watched it yet. I can't watch it. It's fucking bad. I, everyone says like, I've not heard anyone go, Oh, you wait, you gotta watch it. No one. Uh, Tally was saying no one. That Tally actually really enjoys it. Really? Um, I don't know how, like, I honestly don't know how it, even the previews look horrible. I yeah. don't know. Uh, what else? Boardwalk Empire started up. I haven't started watching that though. Ryan's been watching that. He's really enjoying it. Um, Constantine, I think, starts this week, if not next week. I'm pretty excited for that. That you know what I? That looks like dark and it looks serious, dark, and that's really really dark. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think uh, that's something that kind of excites me. I don't know yeah. that. I don't know that it will absolutely JPB. Um, you know, as coveted as the the comic and the sources, but I'm I'm down to I'm down to yeah. check that out. If they really go um, that route, it'll be good. What else? Trying to trying to think what else has been good. Survivor. Uh, Survivor started up. Water guys. guys. Hold on to your butts. It's Hold actually been pretty butts. good. They 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 have one. I let me just t- say one twist that they have in the show. So, like, all the reward challenges, instead of it being team versus team, you know, it's blood versus water, so you go as a pair, and then they split off into different tribes. So, when one person on one team competes, they have to compete against the person they came to the island with. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, so like every you know, single what episode. What season are they on? And that's it's like twenty twenty five. You know, twenty five seasons. They're still keeping it interesting. It's pretty pretty amazing, honestly. Yeah, I don't pretty know. Oh, I, I watched. Uh, damn it! God, son of a. Son, I just apple. spilled my coffee. Oh, you, go go ahead. I gotta grab uh, paper towels. I got. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I watched Survivor like two seasons ago, and it. Uh, it was actually interesting. I don't know. Does anyone in chat watch Survivor still? Oh, yeah. I caught up on Once Upon a Time, too. I want to talk about that with Weeks. He'll have opinions on it. Uh, but Survivor, I don't know. It's rather interesting. That's a wheat nostril right there. Uh, apparently, Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. has been good. I didn't watch any of season one. I didn't watch any of season... Well, that's not true. I watched the first four... Oh, he, what did he do? He turned the screen black. Oh, there we go. I think he hit his little remote keyboard. I'm just not even going to talk about the show anymore. Of course I watched True Detective. True Detective is amazing. God. True Detective is ridiculous. Oh, I'm so mad, bro. Homeland came back. Oh, man, all these good shows I got to talk about. Everywhere. Homeland start, Homeland's on tonight. Homeland... Yeah, what's up? I'm gonna. There's a guy in chat that I'm gonna chew out really bad, and I'll tell you who that is as soon as I'm done with this disaster. But I okay, he's gonna chew bad. someone out, guys, really bad. I need to just grab this. Really bad. You must have talked shit about Survivor or something. God damn it! The coffee cleanup's not going good. The coffee cleanup's not going good. South Park. I haven't watched any of South Park. I've heard the new season's good though. Hold on, I'm gonna go back right now. I gotta find fucking asshole. This guy, right? Oh my god, it was D. It was Aether. He was the what one. That? He posted the link that said Constantine TV show, no smoking. And I went to click on it, and that's when I hit uh, my coffee. Uh, it was that fucking link. You he said, "Son of I, a bitch." I remember watching something like a lot of people were worried about that because that's. A, I think that's pretty. Pivotal in the show, and they said that cigarettes are going to be well in the show. What is it? I that's why I wanted to see the link. I didn't even get a chance to click on They're it. They're just not because, be, uh, like, oh, is it NBC? Yeah, yeah, so you can't show smoking or something on like the main three or some shit. Okay, that's only that's only NBC though. Yeah, or because, maybe it maybe it's the other. I don't know. Because don't know. preacher, you know, fucking. I mean. Yeah, he does. Like, a lot. I yeah. don't. I can't see him not smoking. Um, I'm still moving my mouse pad. Sorry. People, we were talking about. Uh, I haven't watched Sons of Anarchy. I haven't started that either yet. I know that this this is the final season, and it's been getting like like everyone's just. That shit crazy. There's no one left in the show anymore. <laughs> Apparently. Uh, I wanted that. I, we talked about this on Twitter very briefly, but we, I caught up on Once Upon a Time. Have you, did you watch any of season three? No, nah, man. Season four has Frozen in it. We, Dude, I, I saw that in a preview and I was just like, are you fucking shitting me? Are like you actually kidding me that yeah. Elsa is in it? Like Elsa, what? Elsa and uh, Anna, huh? Or whatever. Elsa They're and both Anna. In. So uh, also the uh, Anna's uh, husband, the and the and even the reindeer. They're in it as well. Oh, for the, fuck's sakes! Uh, and even they even did a scene with the the rocks, the trolls. Where like there was trolls rolling around, and it was like actually kind of decently animated they must have blown like half their budget on that <laughs> it looked pretty crazy it looked pretty crazy and what motivated you to keep watching uh just because i like i needed a bad tv show that's good like it's so bad that it's good oh, man. the the peter pan story arc was pretty like oh my god i didn't it was, know that. It was kind of meh and then right after that they did the wizard of oz story arc where they had the wicked witch is the the bad person and i don't know why i watch it 
but I'm going to keep watching it tonight. Okay. Uh, Homeland season four started. Talk about a show. Did you watch any of that? I've not watched that one yet either, but that's actually probably next on that and oh. uh, and House of Cards on my next two. Though. Season three was probably like from where it started in season one, where it was just like an amazing, like fucking one of the best TV shows I've seen. And you compare that to season, season three. Season three was like one of the worst TV shows I've ever seen. It was just dog shit. And what they do at the end of season three makes season four basically a brand new show. And yeah. now they've like rebooted the show and it's fucking amazing again. Like it's really, 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 really good. I'm really enjoying it. I, In fact, you don't even need to watch season one to three to watch season four of the show. <laughs> There's really no point. Really? Yeah. It just kind of, well, I mean, I don't think I would do that anyway. Yeah, it was good. Uh, yeah, then I guess the other show that I've been watching is Blacklist, which is really good. If you haven't watched that yet, you should watch that. Well, it's kind of, uh, yeah. It's got James Spader uh, in it as the bad guy, so uh, like that's the only reason you watch. Well, he's kind of like the bad good guy. It's kind of like the Dexter of the show. Okay. It's really good, though. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I've, that's, I've, I've that's tried it. I'm to think. There's, yeah, I, I got to be honest, like, I kind of held off a little bit also because of traveling. And I think a lot of shows that I probably would have given a chance, just like Gotham, I'm just not sure that I even care to to really check it out at all. Yeah, I'm trying to see if there's anything else that I... Oh, and then every Sunday I also watch uh, Anthony Bourdain, Parts Unknown, which is... Yeah, you've mentioned that before. I don't know how to like what to compare that to, but it's the best of something. Yeah, sure. I don't know what that is, but it's the best of some <laughs> of some sort of show genre that works. Yeah, might involve eating or it's it. Well, like he he eats in the show, but it's more like the CNN show is more based on like traveling than his other show was. The No Reservations, where it was right. like focused on food. I don't know if you guys enjoy food or Anthony Bourdain, you should definitely be watching the new season of Parts Unknown. I have been watching um, Brooklyn Nine Nine. Is that funny? It's actually, you know, uh, let me just admit that, so, like, Terry Crews is the fucking man. In everything that he is in, he is just phenomenal. He's the best. You know who Terry Crews is, right? He's the uh, Old Spice guy, right? Yeah, 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 exactly. He's, at, he's, like, actually one of the hardest working people I've ever heard about. Yeah, I was watching an interview with uh, him on some show. Oh, oh and it, he's a he's an amazing painter. Apparently, did you hear about this? Oh, they have an episode where he paints. That's crazy. I Dude, wonder he if he like, actually he's like an, painted. He's the, like an all star level painter. Dude, like. it, I think like episode four, he paints a portrait. I wonder if he actually painted the portrait that is in the. Hold on, let me let me show you this image that he painted. Like it is god tier painting. Uh, where is this at? Let's see, man. They're all like shitty. It's not working. Well, they're all, they're all like from a phone or something, but like it's pretty amazing. There, I linked it to you. I guess he sold these or something as a as a kid growing up. Like he could have been a professional painter <clears throat> or like a professional artist. Like it's fucking crazy, crazy dude. I bet you he totally did. That's so funny. Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, it's like twenty two minutes of just funny stuff, and then right, it just yeah. I watch uh, light. Fuck. What is that? What is the Tim Allen show where it's like the reboot of Home Improvement, but it's with three women this time? Oh God, I don't know. I don't know. It's 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 kind of a bad show, but it's kind of good. It's kind of bad, kind of good. I don't know. <laughs> One of those, like the hundred. Yeah, it, like the it, hundred. it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. I think the hundred the? starts soon. The hundred? Oh, you watched the hundred. That's right. Hell yeah, man. Oh, Last Man Standing. That's what it is. What Last Man Standing? Yeah. It's it's a really weird show, man. Because because like now in the in in whatever season they're in is incredibly incredibly like political, and like every other joke is about Obama. 
and like how he's fucking up. <laughs> it's really weird. It's really weird. It's really weird. But yeah, that's that's what I've been watching on TV. I don't I I don't uh I don't have anything else I think I'm watching. So we could we start talking about video games. We could do whatever. Should we jump into it? Yeah, I mean, I've been playing a lot of stuff you, over the past five weeks. Your list is fucking massive, dude. Your and list. I could talk at length for a lot of this stuff, but a lot of it's been talked to death by other media outlets. Sure. So I really want to. Sure. Well, where do you want to start? I mean, I guess we'll start at the beginning, Arc Age. Uh, okay, so you're not playing that anymore. I'm not. I, I actually really enjoyed it, but I had to stop playing it because of Stream Snipers. And then oh, I couldn't, really? I couldn't play it because like, if to play an MMO you gotta kind of commit at least with that, and so I just had to like stop. Yeah, because like they were, it was to the point where everyone on the server, whenever I would stream, would watch my stream and then avoid me, and so it would just be like three hours of me walking around, never encountering anyone PvP wise, and so they would just constantly dodge me, and I was just like, I can't, I can't play. Yeah, can't that do sucks. <laughs> uh, that really so, yeah. sucks. I don't even yeah, know well, what to say about like what. There's nothing you can really do to solve that another, unless you create I, I some like a, intricate network of spies that are underground oh, that each of thing. the groups. And then our our entire guild had a ton of spies in it. Like anytime we did anything, people knew about it server wide. So, and I think it's still a problem actually. Where because like so a lot lame. of a lot of the people still play. Yeah. Um, they merged with an, another guild or something like that, and apparently the they still have issues where like anything they try to do gets spoiled immediately by someone else telling someone. It, there's a bunch of bullshit. So <laughs> I just um, I don't. You know what? It's, it's a probably good game. for the better. It's probably for the better. What that I'm not playing anymore? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all the game's also like completely ridden with hack. Like there's. Yeah, I, I read an yeah. article uh, just the other day that was like the top 10 hacks plaguing Arc Age. And like some of them were, you know, just like using terrain to uh, to for the trade missions, whatever, uh, to get like from one place to the other really fast. Yeah, there's a lot of radaring. Yeah. Yeah. There, oh, like shit. like uh, something about house uh, plant or uh, zoning like timers and stuff. and yeah, my roommate, like the first week that it was out, like showed me all that shit. And I was just like, yeah, I'm not. There was a, there was apparently, a, there was a way to, uh, not pet. I forgot the actual, like, it's a very simple thing to do. And you could actually just spawn creatures that were from the Korean, like all the bugs that existed on the Taiwanese and Korean servers that had been patched were there on the American servers. And so like everyone was using those bugs that were already out there. Right. They were just rampantly doing it. One of them was that you can just spawn creatures. And so people were like going into the main cities and just spawning like a billion level 50 creatures and just destroying everyone, which was funny to see. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Just, I mean like the most powerful creatures that could be No, spawned. just like level 50 like shitty like normal creatures but you could just spawn as fast as you could hit the button and then and then just grind off it right? no, no no just kill people like you could just kill an entire like you could take over a town with just enemies just like red mobs because no one could kill them at that point so it was pretty funny that la that last oh, like for fuck's so. sake that's crazy uh, and then I played Destiny for 24 hours straight. And yeah, I haven't touched it since. See, I think I did. We talk about Destiny. I feel like we did. Did we? I don't know. Actually, I think we did because Destiny came out. The we did that show the week of Destiny, so we yeah. have talked. About Destiny. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I still have not touched any of it. Yeah, dude. I played what? I think I ended up playing about eight hours. Not, no, dude. You know, that's. That's giving it too much. I think I played four, five, maybe. It's it's a good game, but once you do one planet, you've done the entire game. I. It didn't really. It actually did just didn't really trip my trigger too much. It looks great. Yeah. I just don't know why it didn't really appeal to me on that level. I couldn't couldn't figure it out. It was it's, I I yeah I don't know. 
JP. I just I couldn't figure out what it is about it. I've had a couple of people say, "Are you gonna finish it?" And I just I mean, it's sitting right over here, and I don't know that I have any desire to just keep going on it. Yeah, well, I don't want to spend too much time on it, but yeah, Destiny was Destiny. Uh, and then I played Hyrule Warriors, which I think came out the same week, which is the Zelda Destiny or the the Zelda uh dynasty warriors rather yeah hi so i got a copy of it while i was on the road um, many will like it i yeah. don't think you'll like it no i don't know I, have you ever played a dynasty warriors game oh god yeah you because on psp those were some of my favorites just because i could just sit there mindlessly and that's why i enjoyed it because it was just like mindless fun where i just killed a billion fucking enemies and it had all the zelda characters in it so i was kind of interested i don't know it was uh it was an all right game. Is there any, uh, I mean, is there any s skill required? Like, is there any challenge? Is it, is it just no, pretty easy? Not. Is it just, are you just mashing it's, buttons? What is it? It's your... pretty easy going. Yeah. Okay. It's pretty easy going. Uh, but the best part was when you got to play as Ganon towards the end. He, he was a badass. He you, was probably you played through the whole thing. Oh yeah, yeah. I, and how I long it. do you think it took you? Uh, seven or eight hours. Okay. There's a lot of challenge modes or something, but that's uh, that's about half the list. Or no, that's about a third of the list. So what have you been <laughs> up to? What? what have oh, you been that's playing? what. Uh, so. I because I I can talk for days, but. Sure, sure. Um, God, where do I? I I mean. Recently, what I've been playing the most has been Smash Brothers 3DS. Really? Yeah, yeah. Did it's, I buy that? It's it's really good, JP. It's really so. I I have a lot of different opinions on this game, JP. Because first off, I have to say Nintendo is fucking genius. Really? Right? Because I I leading up to. The 3DS and the Wii U release of Smash Brothers, I just sort of wasn't, I hadn't quite figured out what their intention and their motive was behind releasing two games like this, releasing them at different times, yeah. and you know, like sort of what their what their overall plan was. But now that I have Smash Brothers 3DS, like it all makes sense to me. So. I'm in this category of people who already has a 3DS, who already has a That's Wii me. U, right? Yeah, so, so I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually, I feel like I'm getting the best value overall. But, but I'll, I'll explain what I mean by that. For anyone who's just like a 3DS owner, let's say you get something like Smash Brothers, okay, um, got, okay, and you let's and you and you play it, you're gonna be like, holy shit, this is a really good game. And you know what? The only thing that doesn't make this the best game or the greatest game on the, you know, Nintendo game is that the controls are still portable. But but yeah. it's still fucking amazing. Like I can play it online. There's all this shit to unlock, a ton of stuff to do. The game looks gorgeous. It it can be as crazy as you want, it can be as competitive as you want. You can just play it for fun, whatever. It's a, an amazing portable game that is on a little cart like this. But okay. the whole time I'm thinking, everyone who plays this is going to be like, I can't wait to play the Wii U version. Because yeah. then I can like play this game proper. And it's going to have a bunch of shit that's not in this one. And it's going to look even more amazing. So I think that those I, th this game is going to sell a fuckload of Wii U's, dude. A ton. Because people really? are going to go out. I think they're going to buy Wii U's to play this game. I think that get, they're going to have the converter so they can play on their GameCube um, uh, uh, pads, their GameCube game pads. And it is a really good game. I mean, I have, I have been grinding like 40 games a night online, playing people really? online. Yeah, it's fun as shit. It is fun as shit. If you don't have any interest in doing... PvP, is there like a PvE element to it where I can grind on that stuff? Yeah, but what fun is that? There's a ton of that shit if that's your thing. Okay. I mean, I played... Uh, this is how I played the game. I just played Smash Mode, 
which is, you know, just like you could set as many as one player, two player, three players against you, all CPU. You can set their level. Uh, you and, and then you pick your character and you go and you fight. And then yeah. you you as you play battles it, that it's that simple. You just when you play 10 battles, it unlocks a new character. 20 battles, 30 battles, 40 battles uh, until you unlock 120 for 12 characters total. Um, right. So I just played a bunch of the smash run, which is like collect all these uh, different power ups. And then, you know, your attack becomes more powerful. Your defense becomes more powerful. And then you fight at the end. It's it's OK. It's it's not like it's nothing special. Um, hmm. they have a lot, I mean, there's a ton of different shit from training to like this home run game to, you know, hundred man smash and 10 man smash and endless smash and all these different fighting game modes. But where it's really good is I think the online's great. Really? I just like to be able to play against other people and know that either I fucking kick that guy's ass and he's so salty right now, or this guy kicked my ass and I'm so salty right now. Like, you know, it's always been about playing these games competitively. Right. I mean, yeah. at, at least for me, when it comes to fighting games, even smash and I don't have anyone around here that I can play melee with. This is an amazing alternative for me. And, and hmm. I would say one out of 10 games has some sort of lag flutter. It just like and uh, and it doesn't rubber band. It just like slows down. Um, okay. It's fantastic. It's so. Maybe I'll check it out. It's so good. <clears throat> well, I I probably like I I got burned pretty hard by the Wii version of Smash Bros. And I think I'm still fucking burned from that. That I'm less. Interested what do you mean in by burned? I got in. So like, uh, when did that come out? That came out like 2000. You're talking about Brawl. Was that the one for the Wii? Whatever. Yeah. yeah. That's SSBB, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so I bought like a... Well, I didn't buy a Wii specifically for... Actually, I probably did. I bought a Wii specifically for that, I think, but a couple months in advance. And I just was like so disinterested in it. And like, I think I realized... Here, here's what it is. Now I remember why I fight, I'm like going back through the years. I don't like that game because it's kind of got the StarCraft feel to it where everyone else is fucking god tier at it and there's no way for someone who's like super new to that world you know jump I, into it. I there's so, no like use to, there's there's nothing like the battle net ranking system where I can play other fucking shitters. I you you are right about that and I don't know if Wii U is going to have anything differently but to be honest JP like I feel like I have gotten such a wide range of opponents from guys where I have dominated them to guys where we've had really amazing matches because we were like exactly the same level or really close to guys that have shit on me, but they're the ones I like to play the most because then I figure out how to not get shit on by these characters. Cause a lot of them just choose like the top tier crazy characters yeah. And and they fuck you up with them. But at least then I, I will grind games for like 10 games with these guys just to like find out what I can do. So that if I run into them again, I don't get, you know, don't get. Um, huh. It's yeah, I don't fun. Know. I, I, I didn't find the fun in it. But maybe it's completely different. I'll, I'll probably still pick it up for the Wii U, I would guess. But November is actually a crazy month for video games. So I don't know if I'll pick it up, to be honest. There's actually like a I, amount of games coming out. I will let everyone know that I will definitely pick it up. There is no doubt about it. I will be playing some. We'll be playing some late night smash games uh, on the stream. I can't wait. I think it is going to look so good on Wii U. I can't fucking believe how nice it is on the what? 3DS. Oh, graphically? Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, someone pretty much got it right. If I'm not winning or I don't have a chance of winning, it's pretty much garbage. That's actually the truth. So <laughs> I mean, I I have no smash experience. Maybe, maybe that'll be like a December pickup for me. And then I'll even okay. be more salty because then everyone else who is a shit lord like me will actually have like leveled up from shit tier status and See, I'll be the shit lord. But that's the other thing, JP. This is the trainer, man. This, yeah, then this I'm already thing, fuck, fuck it. I'm getting uh, it at all. Do you see this? 
<laughs> fucking, I'm benching I'm this thing, fuck. motherfucker. When the Wii U version comes out, man, my fucking Smash Muscle is going to be so big, JP. And you're going to wish that you fucking had yourself a little fucking Smash trainer. I. This is not my main happen. is Yoshi, if you want to fucking. My main is Yoshi. Main is Yoshi. Yep. I'm a glutton for is punishment. Little Mac still OP? Dude, Little, they're, they're, little Mac is sure, fuck, actually, not, Little like, Mac, you just you know. have to know how to fight him, right? Yeah. You have to know how to fight him. All right. Yeah. The uh, uh, Zero Suit one. Samus is a bitch. Oh, really? Yeah. How many heroes are there? Or heroes? How many, what are they called? Smashers? How many smashers? Um, Characters? Uh... I want to say like 30 some. Holy fuck. That's a lot. Are those all the characters right there? Yeah, I don't know That's if you can even see it. All the characters. Oh shit, there's a lot. Uh home button we yeah. What happens in an online game when someone hits the home button? You know what? I don't think it's ever happened to me. I've had one game out of like the hundreds I've played where I've gotten a communication error. I think in some situations, JP, and maybe someone in chat will know, that if someone drops from your game, an AI takes over. I'm not 100% sure. Interesting. Yeah. Um, I see Wasteland 2. Are you going to be picking that back up? Oh, shit, man. Dude. That's did, like I one talk, of those... did I get to talk about it on 8-Bits? I don't think I did. <sighs> I don't remember. I Dude. I want to say that you did. All right. Well, I'll just uh, you you tell you, me if you've heard these statements because I've pretty yeah. much been thinking about it, and I've been like, if there's been one game that I've been wanting to get back to so bad, it's Wasteland really? Two, and this game is definitely sitting on my fucking game of the year list, and it makes me yeah. so happy that I mean, so JP like, but there's a lot of reasons. I know I'm giving this a lot of a lot of praise, and I will and I will continue to do so over the next couple of minutes. But one of the reasons why I was so excited for this game is that this was really one of my absolutely most played and favorite games when I was young and first becoming a PC enthusiast. So it was the first uh -huh. time I played a post-apocalyptic game where there were these weird concepts of fucking, you know, nuclear bombs that mutated people and robots that were created to take shit over and, you know, religious cults that had gone crazy. And, and nowadays, like, that's kind of common storyline. But back in, you know, 1988, that was fucking bizarro world. So I yeah. loved fucking Wasteland and... So they had a little bit of diff a little bit different system where they had some use space components that were similar to like Ultima Online, which is one of the reasons I like that so much. But the what that game was able to do, how it was able to capture me, I had played this beta. You know, oh, uh, I talked about it a little bit and I liked it and, and I didn't play that much because I knew that I would want to play it through when I actually played through the game. So. I started playing this game and it only took five hours JP before I was like, you know, I, this, I feel exactly the same way that I felt when I was, when I was playing this so when I was, I was younger. Is and the I, game, is the game that good or is nostalgia that strong? So I, that's obviously one of the reasons why I said that I, even though I'm going to give this game a lot of praise, I don't know that it's necessarily a game for everyone because right. there's, I there know it's is, not for me. There I'm is, not going to sit there and read for 30 hours. I mean, but really how different was Baldur's gate? There's reasons I haven't finished Baldur's gate. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, that was a part of the original game. So it, yeah. it is definitely something, you know, this, this is a game that was made by an independent company that was kickstartered and they actually fucking finished the game and That's got true. it out. And, and I think they that it's a lot amazing. Of money too, I think. Um, yeah, oh, I, no, I mean, something. I think they, they, this was absolutely a success and you know, they're working on playing safe torment. Um, they, they fucking, they killed it, man. If you were a fan of this game or you were a fan of fallout or fallout Two. Or even uh, any of the Fallout series, 
Like, Wasteland was the original. It was the granddaddy of all of that shit. And they did a fantastic job. There are so many fucking Easter eggs, too, if you were an old-school player. The tactics ex itself is, is really fantastic. Of course, you can make your own characters, so I've got a story within a story where, you know, Evan Masters and Bubba are fucking doing their thing. Uh, nice. but, uh, so... It's it's for me just it's perfect. It's exactly what the first game was, and I was worried that I, it was gonna just be another game that was made and was okay. But because they were able to nail that, because they they bottled it for a second time, like the charm of this game, and and it is it's funny and it's brutal, and they it's got the almost the exact same engine, but they gave it a nice graphical overhaul. Um, Fucking fantastic, man! I I definitely will have this game on my candidates list for game of the year, or at least one of my you know five game of the year at the end of the year because they they did everything right. Huh. Um, and the and it and it's hard. It's as hard as you want it to be, and it's hard, which is good. So I I like a challenge. Obviously, it's yeah. fantastic. But you said you didn't like reading. That's like your biggest. Well, it's it's not that I don't like reading. I just don't want to like the the most annoying. Not annoying. I don't. I don't like fucking. Maybe I'm just like a, a, a bad. Maybe I'm a bad person. But I just don't want to sit there and like sit through dialogue options and like have to think. Like a lot of people put weight into those options. I start sure. stop caring. The second decision I have to make, and I just start picking the dumbest ones or the ones that are going to get me in the most conflict, and I don't care about the outcome of the decision. So uh, I don't know. Yeah, or I'm I'm the opposite because I'll sit there and I'll be like, "Fuck, I don't know what to you know what to choose." What? But here's what blew my mind, JP, is that within the game, there are options that they don't even give you that you can type in. That will have an oh, adverse really? effect on the story. Yeah, wow, um, that's pretty crazy. It is crazy. Uh, it means that, and and this is I played through the original Wasteland four or five times easily. There's a lot of different ways you can play it as well. Um, there also within the game a lot of things that you can make these choices, but you obviously have consequences either way. So the second time you play it through or whatever, it will change up uh, because of huh. that. Uh, now, will I go through and play it a second and third time? You know, not this year or next. I'm going to finish it, but yeah. I I could see myself in maybe a couple years picking it back up and like experiencing a different story than than what I had played. It's uh, t it's to me good enough and and respects that lore and, and what it what it originally the game was that it was it was awesome. And I don't know if it's still fifty nine bucks. Um, does anyone know? Uh, no, it looks like it's only forty bucks. I think that's a fucking steal. I think it's a steal. Huh. I'm reading. I'm just reading chat. Someone says RPGs just aren't as good for JP. Just like Wheat doesn't like stealth games. I don't. I don't think. I enjoy a good RPG. There just hasn't been one in the past couple of years, in my opinion. I don't know. I, I guess the best like uh, op opposite game, you know, you have a game like Wasteland 2 where you're reading a lot. Uh, I played Shadow of Mordor. You don't really read too much in that game. You just kill orcs for like 11 hours straight. And it's fucking awesome. Like it's awesome <laughs> the entire really? time. It is a fan. Yeah, it's fantastic. I, I you know... The internet's always a place of obviously the vocal majority being pretty much the the, the complainers. But I was, saw on Twitter, Reddit, a lot of mentions of it about how incredibly easy the game is. Um, I think you definitely have like if you want the game to be difficult, you have to make it difficult for yourself. Okay. Through the in-game mechanics, I probably died like maybe three times throughout the entire game. Maybe like four times. The thing is, though, death isn't like, unless you're doing the story missions, death isn't a penalty in the sense of like game over. Death is like if you die, 
then the nemesis system is affected and like the person that killed you uh, becomes like one of the warlords or whatever, or one of the, the generals. And then he works his way up the, the ranks and it creates kind of this weird, uh, like RPG element where like when you kill someone, you actually know what that guy did to get there. And like right. you have, and you like know, and like he knows your weaknesses too. And like, Maybe the first time you guys fought, you burned him or something. He'll, his face will like show up burned later on when he like levels up or whatever. It gets a new rank in the system. So I don't know. I, I thought that uh, I, I know that Jeff was also ranting and raving about that game, uh, and he could probably do a better job explaining it because it's actually been like two weeks since I've played. So some of the stuff I, I don't exactly remember through and through. But would you? So you played really eleven played hours. It. You loved it. Would you actually suggest like during the holiday time when you know there's some some free weeks to play games that that would one I'd go back and visit or? Yeah. There, there, there are some like stealth areas in the game. Not like, and I say stealth like because you can basically just say fuck that and just start murdering everyone if I remember correctly. Um, but it, it's very much like, it's very much Assassin's Creed in that regard. Uh, how you can like stealth around buildings and you can scale everything, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but yeah. That game was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. And graphically, it looked really good. The, on PC, you on played PC. on PC? Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I ran it at... Uh, I had the, the extra... The, the additional texture pack. And so I was running it at like 4K downsample because I got a 980 or whatever. And it looked glorious. I thought it was an amazing looking game. Um, and it was all... It played very well. I, I was... I enjoyed it a lot. The game was a lot of fun. It was the perfect bite size for that week. I'm glad. I'm actually glad to hear you say that because I think coming off this trip, just again, like just what I was exposed to, uh, if I wouldn't have heard that, I think I probably would have just glazed over it. The story, by the way, is absolute. Well, it's not absolute shit. Pretty mediocre. It's all about the gameplay in that game. The ending to that, okay. like the endings of games recently have actually all been fucking terrible. There's not been a good ending to any game in the past three months <laughs> i'm just gonna go out there and say that i don't know if there's been a good ending in a game that's come out in the past three months i'm trying to think i can't i don't have anything that pops so i haven't finished wasteland 2 yet i'll let you know um so uh just to change gears a little bit or should we take a break and come back or what do you want to do here uh, I think we've only been going for like forty-five minutes, yeah, right? You're right. We, you're right. You're right. Let's not. Let's not yeah. do it. Okay. Then I'll, I I want to go with this. Then uh, so you know there was a big, big, big Dota two patch. Um, and part of one of the reasons I was gone is I was at New York Comic Con and I also uh, hosted ESL one in New York, which is pretty cool. But I've had a chance to play a few games on said patch, and I know that like for some, it's it's a the unpopular opinion. But I I really dig everything that they've uh, that they've done. Like the little little things they've added, I I think are a nice step towards at least easing the pain that is Dota Two and making it uh, you know a bit more enjoyable, even when you are getting your shit pushed in. Which I I can I can dig those types of changes. Yeah. Um. But I I mean I know you've played a, a lot of like Dota Two, but did you get? To, I mean you had to have at least read those patch notes. Did you not? Do you know some of the? No, I, I think I glanced over them when I came out, but it was more just like, "Well, oh, that's Dota Two. There's some more Dota Two, <laughs> and I want to click on this link now." <laughs> like that, it was it was that much of a scan. You know, so um, for for me, one of the uh, one of the things that I I really do like, especially because I like to play mid, is that a rune spawns on both sides every two minutes. Yeah. So if it's not right, if it's not the main rune, then it also spawns the bounty rune. What does that do? So the bounty rune, based off of the amount of time that's elapsed in the game, gives you X amount of gold and experience. But more fuck? importantly, if you're a bottle user, then it refills your bottle charges, which is yeah. totally awesome. And you know you can. Well, that bounty rune seems really good for mid because like. You're almost always guaranteed to get one, and especially if you're a character that can like fight over it and then quickly get back. Because obviously, I like to play puck, yeah. so a lot of times I can get two runes. Wow. Um, 
And then they added a lot of like pathing that changed, and the Roche Pit moved a little bit. Um, they changed the uh, the the actual, I guess, formula to how uh, or how much a person is worth based off of their team worth and your team worth, which stops snowballing just a little bit and gives the team, uh, you know, a chance. So it's pretty good. Yeah, the XP and gold of a bounty run isn't that much. It's not like you're going to get a whole fucking level from the thing or something. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think it's like like it even in the first it's every minute it 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 gets a little bit more like it adds 2 XP or or maybe 1 XP and 2 gold or something. So it's like it's like 50 gold 20 XP or something like that. Huh. Yeah. Hmm. Did they introduce any new heroes? Uh nope. Nope. I mean, obviously, Techies, Techies is in it. One, yeah. Right. Um, but <laughs> nope. Is he just in games right now? No, Does I he still have any... suicide ability. What's that? Yeah. Is he still suicide? Okay. Yeah. And uh, let's see. XP plus five current minute and five gold plus two current minute. Yeah. Oh. So, um, no. other. It's just, you know, obviously, like, Arcana sets and all this stuff. They made a, little, a lot of little tweaks on the characters. And who did? I think they did a rework of... Was it? Shut up! No, who was it? I don't know. Um, it's good though for anyone who's been like not playing Dota for a while. I, I would say give it a shot. It's actually I like what they I really like what they did with the changes. It's pretty solid. Interesting. Yeah. I'm I, glad. I, I, I'm glad that they're willing to like go out on a limb and make major changes like that. Like they changed the fucking map, JP. Like Roche is not where he used to be. He's like he moved. 150 yards to the east. Oh, so he's even further towards bottom slash. Yeah, I should. Or Dota... He's even more and more bottom lines. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, two, eight. Two, Bounty helps me being support most of the time covers wards cost. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Anyway, I'll I'll see if I can bring it up. Yeah, I don't. I I I played like three games of CSGO and it's just kind of blawed out. I, in terms of multiplayer games, like Battlefield 4 had a big patch. Uh, they actually fixed a, a lot of the net code and stuff like that uh, like two weeks ago. I played like two matches of that and I was just like, well, that's Battlefield. Like I can't find a good uh, FPS shooter aside from Arma that uh, that I want to play. Oh, I didn't even put that on my list. What? Arma uh, Battle Royale came out with a new map called Ghost Hotel. Yeah. And it's instead of being a huge map, it takes place in, um, and I don't know how many players it is. It might only be like I think it's twenty players maybe, but it takes place in like this one little slice of town, which is like just filled with a billion buildings, and there's only pistols and like four or five SMGs on the entire map, and the games are super fast paced. Like an entire game will take twenty minutes at most. Whoa, that looks really weird how Roche is right there. Yeah. Uh, it's Sorry, more like it Dragon so long to get me. League of Legends. Um, but yeah, like it, it's uh, it's super fast paced. The guns are definitely different. Uh, but is it, it still this, has. Is this what I, I'm looking at? The small map right here that I'm going to bring might up? Might be. I'll have to wait a couple is seconds. This what I'm. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I looked up Ghost Hotel. And then... It probably is. It looks like a bunch of little cabanas or hotels. Yes, yes, okay. that's it. Yep. That's it. Do you that. still parachute in? No, you just spawn randomly in the map. Ah, okay. Um, Are there vehicles? At nope. All? Nope. It's pretty small. Like, you can cover that entire thing in like 30 seconds of straight running. And that big building on the right has like four stories in it. And so when you spawn, people spawn on each story. And like, the first 10 seconds of the entire game are just absolute fucking mayhem because everyone's running for guns and then one person gets a gun and then everyone just fucking runs like hell away from that area because they hear the shots going off. They don't want to die. Um, and then it still has like when you get down to the final four, it still has like the super slow battle royale intensity that you're used to. So it's pretty good. I, I definitely enjoy it. And I think, uh, I think they're still working on it. I think player unknown still working on it. So, Nice. We'll see what else he turns out. Nice. I don't know if he's going to make it like more spooky or whatever for Halloween or what he's doing. I don't know what the plans are. 
spooky. Me and Ryan have been playing that a lot. So, uh, speaking of stupid horror games, I played the Evil Within week. God, I just I watched some of it. I watched you play it. I think I watched Co play it a little bit. The and Co- I was just like, <sighs> yeah, I, yeah. Which parts did you watch? Do you remember? I don't know. Dumb parts. Stuff that just looked like I'm playing a game from fucking four years ago. I don't know. Is that? <clears throat> it? It is a really weird game in the sense that I feel like everything that I did in that game has already been done in a Resident Evil game. There we go. That's what that's. I felt like it's like, just. But, but not, not like it's been done before. Like the exact fucking thing thing has been done before like exactly the there, there are parts of that game where i'm just like that's exactly from resident evil like th- there's a there's a fucking manner in the game that you visit it's like a dir- like even the fucking you remember in the first resident evil when you don't even see any of the res or any of the zombies and you walk down that hall and you see the zombie you see the the body on the ground like chewing like chewing yeah, on the yeah, yeah. that exact fucking thing is in this game like down to the T where you just see someone hunched over and kind of like making chewing motions. And then he like turns out to be a zombie, like the exact fucking thing. It was really weird to see. Oops. It was really weird to see. Um, I feel like chapters one to five in that game are slow. Five to 10 are actually probably the best parts. And then 10 to 15 are just like some of the worst things I've ever had to play through. <laughs> Like they're just fucking terrible. They are abysmally bad. Um, there's a driving sequence in the game. Wait, it's about. Is it scary at all? No, it's not. It's the driving sequence is probably 25 seconds long. Wait, yeah. And the driving, <laughs> the driving in Duck Dynasty was better uh... than this game. It's literally like you're driving down this this fucking road and you can move left and you can move right. And when you move it like I don't know if it's because I was using a keyboard or what, but it just felt fucking terrible. Like it was really, 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 really bad. Uh, And to beat the end of the game, I actually turned on God mode and no clip mode and just skipped past all the encounters because I was so disinterested in what I had to do. In this game? Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's that's like the biggest fuck you I think you could possibly give to a game, yeah. JP. I we, mean, right, seriously. Right, right before you get into the final boss room, you know what they do? They put you in a fucking room where you have to sneak around and they have spotlights that you have to avoid. And it's like this long like challenge room. I did it I did it twice, failed immediately like on the first or second one and just hit no clip and went straight through it cuz fuck that. <laughs> I did not want to do that. I don't that. get that. I don't I don't understand. <laughs> it I was bad, dude. I don't get who fucking makes those decisions in a meeting where it's so like bad. guys, how long did it take you to beat the game? Uh it's actually a pretty long game. Uh, I think like twelve hours, thirteen hours. Guys, Resident Evil four was fourteen point one hours on average to complete. Yeah. I need you to push out an extra 40 minutes to 90 minutes of player suffering right before the final boss before yeah. we ship this game. Yep. It was bad, dude. The end sections of that game were fucking... I wish that was like a criminal misdemeanor. They were abysmal. Maybe even I, a I felony. Do it. And the ending was absolute god shit, too. It, like, it... That's the other thing, too, is there is like this very... Remember the first Resident Evil where Umbrella Corporation is like very loosely mentioned? They do the same fucking shit in here where there's like this secret organization that you never really hear a name of. You see like symbols everywhere. And then at the end, you see like that maybe this person that you thought was with you was working for them the entire time, but you never know. And then that's it. Fantastic. Like it, it was basically Resident Evil without 
<laughs> the Resident Evil names. The Game, Resident Evil. Game Cop says this game is under arrest for sucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, exactly. shit. Yeah, what about when you ran running out of ammo in the eye room? That's definitely true. There's a there was a challenge room right before the stealth room where they just sent a shit ton of enemies at you. And uh waste your ammo right before you have to fight the final boss. Pretty much, yeah. But you don't even have it that like ammo's super scarce in that game to begin with, but uh two enemies in, I just stopped getting ammo, and that's why I had to turn on God mode because I was running around with like seven people chasing me and I couldn't do anything to kill them. <laughs> and eventually if I would melee them enough and kill them, luck through some random means, out of nowhere there's this guy that comes out from up top and he has a bazooka, much like Resident Evil where the bazooka right. or the RPG right. comes in at the very end. Oh you don't even get God. to use it in this game, uh, but the enemies do. Comes out with a bazooka and just like starts shooting you, and you have nothing. Like you literally have nothing to fight him with. So I don't know. It was it was incredibly frustrating. Yeah, Wesker's basically in the game. There's a there's a enemy chasing you through the game that has like god powers, and it's basically Wesker, with even like the close up of the face where he like makes that sly smile, and like look like it was it was a weird game, man. It was bizarre how close it was to uh, to Resident Evil. That's that's another game that I will not be sad that I will not go back. You know, the weird it. part, too, is I'll that IGN gave it like an 8.7 or some shit. And I feel like they didn't even play the game past like chapter say, 9 or 10. Yeah, I'm actually on Metacritic right now, and it has an 83 on Xbox One, a 76 on PS4, and a 72 on PC. <laughs> yeah, it's also locked FPS on a PC. Right. It's I saw have, everyone uh, bitching about that. You have to go into the console and enable 60 FPS. Yeah. It was weird, man. That's such a bizarre game. I uh, I don't feel bad. Not one yeah. bit. I'm pretty upset but that I played through it. Not at all. <laughs> I'm pretty upset that I played through it. Uh, we could probably take a break, come back, talk about Borderlands, Hearthstone, WoW. Some other of those other stuff. All right, That's cool. Nice. Let's do it. Yeah. All right, we'll take a quick break, real quick one when we come back. More 8 bits coming at you. Special Sunday show since I've fucking been gone, you know. Fuck fuck the haters. Yeah. We'll be right back. <laughs> 